You're watching the Lakeview Film Show with your hosts, Amadeo Rivas, Daniel Munoz, special guest, Sailor. Hi, I'm Amadeo. Welcome back to the podcast. No, it's not even a podcast anymore. It's, it's a late, show. It's we late, upgraded, we, guys. Yeah. I don't even know this. Okay, it's a show now? So we started off as a podcast. Yeah. Um, a Kim, lot of stuff went down. I'm Amadeo Rivas. And I'm Daniel Munoz. And I'm Sailor. The Sailor's, she's not, she's just here for she's now. She's our guest star. I'm, guest? I'm their, they're my bestest friends. In college. Welcome to the Lakeview Film Show. Roll intro. Hi, I'm Amadeo Rivas. Welcome to the Lakeview <laughs> Film Show. We and my upgraded. name's Daniel Munoz. Uh, I'm the co-host. And I'm Sailor. Yeah, we're her bestest friends and she's our bestest Welcome friend. Welcome to Good Mythical Morning. Hey, how's it going? Hey! I just accidentally flicked off the camera, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so we're in a study hall in the library. Yeah, we lost funding, but now we got a three We didn't setup. lose funding. It's... Yes, we did. We used to only have one camera, and now we got three. Ooh. It's insane. <laughs> so yeah, no, there was a lot of stuff that happened between the last episode and the... Yes, I don't even know if you've seen the actual recent most episode i haven't a lot of, like at least two months have passed uh because mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well it involves us almost getting fired yeah but let's not talk about that because that's some that's some dirty territory that's some really dirty territory we bring it up the the, the, the people will be like oh forget it yeah We're back um hopefully you guys see the previous episodes queen of casualties and an audio only episode it's a Q&A uh, with Colby yeah. and Guillory. Hope you guys enjoy that. Yeah. Anyways, so this is Sailor. Sailor Campos. She is awesome. And she is a former is, art major now going to psychology. She's one of my best friends Don't interrupt in me. the world. Don't interrupt me. Keep, keep talking. Just keep talking. Keep it coming, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So recently, the three of us went to go see Uncut Gems. Because we're best friends. Dude, yes. we, dude, that film is insane. It was crazy. It was, it was crazy. I um, think the person that likes to talk about it the most is this little but, guy. But I'm right next to him, though. Like, I'm right after. Okay. Oh, fine. I think about it a lot. No, I don't really talk. I, I've seen it twice now. Just so you know, really? I'm going to... I'm gonna plug myself, my um, father, like midway, but like in this episode because this is really making me cringe. But what's up? I've I've had uh, an existential crisis lately, but I think I've solved it. What was it? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. I just felt really weird, and like I was like, do I want to do things? You have to say okay. The best way, okay, here, everybody, listen up, especially you, Amadeo. Whenever you're talking about your feelings, you have to be specific or else you're just going to hop over, you know, the conundrum. Yeah, so what's on your mind right now? What's on my mind? Yeah, what's in your heart? Uh, I'm just really like, I don't know. I'm at this point in my life where I don't know what I want, but at the same time I do. Like, I, w- I want to like pursue filmmaking and a lot of other stuff, you know? I want to make a career out of it, but at the same time... Sometimes you just, you, like, it just pushes you away and, like, it kind of makes you, makes it harder for you to actually follow your dream. I feel you. Are you talking about, like, people or, yeah. like, money? Yeah, or both. All the things. People and money? People and money. So suck. what's one of the examples that you could give us that would be pushing you away? Uh, well, okay, so recently my grandfather, he's been diagnosed with cancer, right? Okay. Brain cancer. And, uh... I've been with him for a bit, you know, I, 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 I literally grew up with him, like, in his house, like, t- till I moved out uh, during college, and, uh, I, you know, every time I visit him, it's just, like, it seems like he's losing his mind slowly, and it's really hard to see that, and, like, sometimes I'm like, what's the point of all of this yeah. if you're just gonna grow old and Dude, do like yes. that? Dude, yes, I've been thinking about that so much lately, and then Kobe Bryant died yesterday, his daughter died with him. That's just, yeah. 13 years old. He was only 41, man. I know. She, she was the one that actually played basketball, right? I'm yeah. not sure. I don't know. No, no, no. He was, he, was on a, he was on a helicopter ride with his, with his uh, daughter to go to basketball camp where he was going to coach God. her team. It's crazy. So that's just like... And after that, I was just like, like thinking yeah. about like life and it's just, it's, what the point is. Oof. 
not not a light uh, on a lighter topic. <laughs> If it, if it seems like everything goes wrong, well, we're going to talk about Uncut Gems because everything goes wrong in that film. Yes. Trigger warning? No. What's it called? Spoiler. Spo <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm so used to like, All right. like rehab stuff. So we're, we're going to... Uh, so the main character is played by Adam Sandler, whose name is Howard. It opens up in... Uh, Howie Bling. That's his name. No, it's Howard uh, something something. Whatever. Anyways, he has... His teeth are very... Out there for some reason. Every time he's it's only... because he has. Yeah, Adam Sandler has to wear the new teeth. He has to wear these new teeth. I I realized it after I saw interviews because his teeth are. This is how I him. win. This is how I win. How I win. <laughs> how do you win? How do you win? How do I win? I'll tell you how I win. I win by being a Minecraft zombie. Okay, Bro. so uh, how we bling. Or that's how his I'm name is Howie. Let's we'll just call him Howie. Howie. He he's 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 a, a he's a gambler. He's a gambler. He's a Thank jeweler. You. He's a gambler. And a jeweler. In, in, in the most part, he's a gambler. The the jewelry, that's just something he has there. You know what I mean? And whenever this is defined as a a, a crime film, um, it doesn't really look like it, um, but it has a lot of the aspects that a crime film would have. I has. I like how his character is already developed before the movie starts. Yeah, like, it's insane. Like, he already knows who he is. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. It, it, the movie drops you into this place where things are just already happen, happening. Yeah. You don't have to, like, accelerate at a slow pace. You're just literally yeah. just dropped in there. You're, you're dropped into this world, like, immediately uh, when he's in the middle of owing money to the mafia. Mm. <laughs> or the Jewish mafia. Sorry, Bert. The Jewish vegetarian mafia. Yes. Yeah, like. Vegetarian, really? No, I no, they're not vegetarian. <laughs> they don't eat pork, is what you mean. Well, they're Jewish, so that describes that. But that's whatever. Anyways, okay. So he's owing money, and get this: the guy he owes money to is his mobster, who's also his brother-in-law. Actually, it's his cousin. I, I really? saw that in a video. It's his. Cousin. It's his cousin. Yeah, I thought it would have been insane if it was his brother-in-law. I mean, I'll look it up. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. You was can look it up. Because it wasn't he the. The wife's brother. <laughs> oh, I got six likes on Instagram by the same person. That's the red flag. But they're in their they're they're old posts too. <laughs> Is it also, they have zero followers. That's weird. Also, something I want to talk about in a little bit is um, my new film, Dead Poet. <laughs> Uh, I released it a, a long time ago, but I haven't like really published it. It's a short it. film. You can find it on my YouTube channel. It's <laughs> did you actually? No, you, no, no I didn't actually do that. You'd be so pissed. If... I would be pissed because that's mine. That's my baby. So it's amazing. Like, but you would be like legit mad. Like, not even like, not even playing around mad. You'd be pissed. You haven't seen me actually mad. I don't think. I, no, I pissed you off a couple times. Yeah, you're a jerk. But uh, uh, he's a jerk to me. He pisses. He earlier he pissed. We do me it off. to each other. It's we do. Okay. Anyways, just check okay. it out. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Anyways, he I just wanted to say that I have a lot in common with the Safty, the Safty brothers. Except that you don't. Have... Except that I don't have good audio. Was that what you're gonna say? No. What were you gonna say? Except that you didn't make it with your brother. Except that I don't have a brother. <laughs> so that's sad. I well, I was there. It. You filmed. You shot at my house. Yeah. And then. Uh, I made a small cameo. And you broke my monitor. <laughs> I broke <laughs> no. your film, your monitor. You broke my, uh, my, my uh, cable. cage. You broke my cage and my, my uh, cable. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's besides the point. It's a real, it's, it, I had fun making it. It stressed me out. If a film doesn't make you sick physically, someone said this before, I don't remember who, but it's true. I don't know who said it. You guys should know if you guys like film. <clears throat> if your film doesn't make you physically, mentally sick, Whenever you're making it, you're not doing it. Howard Ratner. That's his name? His last name is Ratner. What were you saying? Howard <laughs> How Bling? Bling? Yeah, because I was listening to the soundtrack, and the uh, first the song point? is called Howard Really? Bling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so here's what, here's what I read. In 2012, Howard Ratner runs a jewelry store in New York's Am Diamond... Am I allowed to eat on this thing? Yes, you can eat. Yeah, you can. Diamond District. While struggling to pay back gambling debts, particularly... Par particularly... $100,000 to Arno, a loan shark who happens to be his brother-in-law. It was his brother-in-law. It wasn't his cousin. This is a really hard coin. Is this cool? It's cold? not. It's... It's... It's his... Br oh. <laughs> oh. Show that to the camera. Show show how gross that is. It's very uh, organic. It's, it's very organic. Are you vegetarian? I'm... No. Well... Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I think that should be good. Um, what, what were you saying? I wasn't. I, <laughs> Somebody called me a, a fat John Lennon today. Colby. Hey Colby called me a fat John <laughs> Lennon. Aw. Guys, the weekend is in Uncut Gems. Yes, he's in Uncut Gems. He he gets into a fight with <laughs> with Adam Sandler. You know what people call him? They call him the Sandman. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is what he posted on Instagram when he got snubbed by the Oscars because the movie got snubbed by the Oscars. Bad. This is what he wrote. This is what he wrote in his post. Bad news. Sandman gets no love from the Academy. Good news. Sandman can stop wearing suits. Congrats to all my friends who got nominated, especially Mama. The Oscars cut out a snug uncut gems, and I'm kind of mad about that because it deserves some recognition, and they could have put more, like, it, it, they have a, at least one more spot for, for Adam. And, like, he even threatened the, the, the Academy, saying that if they did not nominate at least one thing from that he film, make a bad movie or he would make a bad movie on purpose. And now it's going to happen because... Dude, that movie was crazy. You see, Adam tried. He tried. It was really good. He tried to make a good film. It was really good. And it's not like his fault that people don't see him like that because, like, sure, like in the ni- in the late 90s, he was seen as this guy that does stupid films, right? Yeah. And then, like, later see, on. See, that's why I was like, I'm not going to be able to take him seriously in this movie. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, remember, remember his Jack and Jill? <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. No, stop. Oh, God. Here's a poster. <laughs> but that 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 movie was just he he made um cringy movies. Not, I remember Click. Click was one of the first ones I ever saw. It was all right. It was it was one of the first ones I ever saw. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, he makes like these cringy like, and it's not a bad cringy. It's just like um uncomfortable. I hate it when he does that voice where he's like. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, but what's that one movie where it's drunk like, punch love? What, what's, that, punch drunk what's that one movie where it's like uh, Christmas and like there's this really old man? Santa? And, uh, is it Santa? It's, you're thinking know. of Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. Is that it? No. <laughs> he was never in those movies. I know. It's, it's an animated one. It's an animated one. You're thinking of Elf? No. That's Will Ferrell. No, I know what... Okay, <laughs> I don't think all Jews look the same. <laughs> Will Ferrell's not Jewish. <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. Don't make that joke in a Catholic institution. Um, no, there's an animation. I don't know what it's called, and I think he was in it, but he was, like, really young. I, I might be just racist, but... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's like an animation. It's like a Christmas movie, and he's, like, really depressed, and... I don't know. I yeah, don't know I don't what know. you're talking about. Jesus, Are you, did like, you dream this or is no, it real? No, it's real, and I know it's real. I'll tell you what's real. Is that people don't cast Adam Sandler to play serious roles because all they see is a guy that doesn't take anything seriously. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, he'd be doing great movies. Yeah. And it's not his fault. I mean, that's, he came straight out of SNL. People just need to give him a chance. And the Safety Brothers... Gave him a chance. Not only gave him a chance, but they showed the world that he can do it. That he can do it. And, you know, are you eating into the mic? <laughs> Don't do that. Plus. Watch Uncut Gems. That, dude, I just, you have to watch it. If, I, just, I just feel bad because I know that a lot of, a lot of people um, don't like to sit through movies that are, like, uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Ugh, it makes you uncomfortable. But it's th- that's what makes the film so great. It's good. If it can make you feel uncomfortable, uh, okay, imagine. Get some Tylenol. Or I think what I think what the writers did right there was that they put they gave they put a problem right in front of you, and then they built it up. They put they put more on it, more like for okay for example the door scene. The door mm. scene. All right, so that stresses all. The f- so the Sandler, S- uh, Sandler's uh, mm. Sandler gave. Uh, uh, lent out his one million dollar gem out. He loaned oh it out to uh, a basketball player, Kevin Garnett, right? And so he needed it, right? He needed the rock for for auction, and so he waited like three days for it. And so it was very stressful for him. And we see this stress throughout the whole film. And when Kevin Garnett comes back, he's like, "Hey, I had the rock." 
But the, the thing is, the, the door to it to, to Adam Sandler's store is jammed. Like, because you need to press a button to open it. It's a clear glass door. And so it was just, it was locked, right? And so they built that problem. Uh, uh, they built up that problem with another problem oh my with God, the mob so waiting behind yeah, the next door. So and at the same time, Adam is just trying to open the freaking door. I was having so much anxiety. And then there was other people like saying, Adam, uh, like uh, Howard, we need you with this. We need you with that. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, everybody's just talking over him. He's like, open the door. It's this whole thing that just got super, super annoying. And at the same time, when he op finally opened the door, when he bust open like the door with like the magnet or whatever if he, he opens the door this the stress just lets go for a mm -hmm. second and then it builds up again <laughs> and again and again and again and that's what makes this film so great yeah. it makes you feel uncomfortable it makes you feel very untethered from your actual reality it's freaking insane and that's what the sassy brothers did they did that through the cinematography through the storytelling and the acting i think the un the uncomfort that you experience is uncomfortability. Like, there, there's there's an emphasis on it. Whenever you look at this one scene, there's one scene where you don't feel that stressed out, and surprisingly, that one scene is like this small passive aggressive argument with his wife. Mm -hmm. That's like the most calmest scene, like in the movie, which is surprising because like it's it's an argument. Yeah. It's like yeah. What do you think? No, Danny, you can't do this to me. I have to, like, talk while y'all are talking. Sit down, Amadea. What are you doing? I know. What you are... a shot of the Lakeview film show. Howie. Are we not talking? We're not going to talk about how attractive um, Adam Sandler's girlfriend was in that she movie. She was really. Like, yikes, bro. Bro, chill. Chill, bro. Not yet. So... <laughs> <laughs> well okay anyways what did you feel what did you like just what was what was what do you think like whenever you first sat, sat through the first like what 10 minutes like um dang anxiety yeah honestly i kept looking at my day i was like dude i can't watch this movie i was like i can't but you did i did you but, did but i felt like major anxiety like, the first few minutes and then like with all those scenes like bulky. Like leading, I don't know. It was stressful. It was a very stressful movie, but I mean, spoiler alert, though, right? Yeah, spoiler Howard alert. Howard gets killed. Okay, so like everything is going okay. So you know, everything's just going wrong for him, and then all of a sudden, like, okay, it's going good. He's like meeting deadlines, you know. He um. You got the money. He has the money. Uh, he's spending time with family. He's got his girlfriend back. Everything's going good, you know? And then he just... His um, brother-in-law shoots him in the face. No, he doesn't. Who shoots him? His... The, his goon. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so what happens is Howard locks... Uh, he, unintentionally. Un, no, like he unintentionally accidentally locks... Uh, the mobsters that he owes money into a, into the same door that, for, the, for that, that scene I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that Garnett. And Garnett. then he realizes, wait, I'm going to bet $100,000 on Kevin Garnett winning tonight's game. And so he tells his, 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 uh, his girlfriend, who's not his wife, to go to a casino and bet all of the $100,000 into like a, like a couple million, right? And so... Uh, and that's like the money that he owes to um, the mob. And so they win, right? And he gets the money, right? And what happens next is he opens the door. Like a... Like a... Like two... Uh, he opens like, the door. He's like, all right, guys. I'll get you your money in, in a couple days. And then they they just... just the What was it? His brother-in-law's goon starts to get a gun out and shoots him. Shoots and his brother-in-law didn't even order him to do that. Yeah, and, his and brother -in -law it was, was like... He was like, whoa, what are you doing? And then he shoots him. And then he shoots him. Because, like, genuinely, like, for a little bit, you look at his brother-in-law, and he's, like, excited. Like, he's like, you yeah, did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's insane. You won. Right? Dude. And as soon as he got shot, like, that's that shot, just, like, of his face. Howard ruined his family. Okay. He... Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. His wife's really mean, though. But I can understand why she's really mean to him. She thinks... Okay, dude, this is like a Breaking Bad kind of, like, character. Skylar? Um, like, no, like, um, Howie and, and, um, Walter. They're, they're similar in that aspect that, um, they get looked down upon from other characters. Yeah, but Walter never cheated on his girlfriend. No, on, yeah, on, but... on his wife. <laughs> no, yeah, but, like, his, his wife somewhat... Like she she's buddying him, you know what I mean, and so does so does Howie's wife because she thinks he's just an idiot. He she he has wealth, but she doesn't know how much he really does have. Yeah. Oh, well, Skyler knows how much he has. She's the one that counts all the money. Eventually, she she gets in with the business. Anyways, that's that's a Breaking Bad spoiler. But like, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, it's been around. It's been around for like. I've never seen it. 13 years? Yeah, I've never. No, but that's like a, that's like a, Kelly, that's something they share. Neither of you have seen it. I was watching it with Carlos and, you know. Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I know, it's great. I, I would watch Better Call Saul first in chronological order. I watched it with my parents. I just didn't know there's, there's a new season coming out, right? Yeah, it's going to be the last one. I didn't know that. It's going to connect to everything. Anyways, um. Is that movie canon, by Did you just fart? Yes. <laughs> And like, I don't know, just like when they like get that shot, like the blood and then like the wound and then it goes into like the universe. That's crazy. That's some crazy parallelism. That's insane. Because, because like in that moment, you realize that it's not named after, not just named after the opal. It's, mm-hmm. it's named after him because that's who he is. You know? I swear to God, if you recolor this wall in the editing, I'm going to be so mad. I don't think I can because your shirt. But <laughs> um, No, yeah, because cause, uh, one of the reasons why uh, Kevin Garnett, <laughs> wait, right? It's Kevin Garnett, right? The... the basketball player? Kevin Garnett, right? Okay, yeah. Garnett. Um, he, the reason why he keeps it for so long and why he doesn't return it to... Uh, it's because it speaks to him. It speaks to him. It speaks, speaks to him, man. How he wasn't lying um, I mean, in the movie, he wasn't lying to him because he actually does see the universe. You know? You, you do see the universe inside of the, the rock. And we see it three times. In the beginning, mm-hmm. and then we come out of his, um, rec- his rectum. Oh, yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. And then we see it whenever... <clears throat> we go uh, into his... Cheek, they got this bullet hole cheek that's, that he that's got shot in the face. Time. Yeah, <laughs> went out like a G. Wait, okay. when was the second time that we saw the it? The second time was whenever Kevin was looking at it. Oh, okay, okay. So he was looking at it and then, like, yeah, it broke. This is the third time, and the third time was when he got shot. And that's whenever you realize that that's it's a parallelism, that's mm-hmm. what he is. He's the and it, you can see it in the events that happen too because he's winning all this money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And Garnett's also winning the game. When I and saw it with my dad, he thought that it, Howie was still alive. I was like, oh, people have been showing the shoe. Can they survive? I'm like, dude, he's dead. Dad, he's dead. <laughs>